Hey guys, how's it going? I like to mow here, and today we're going to do a little maintenance video. Um, I'm working on my pressure washer. Um, I haven't done too many videos on my pressure washer, actually. Um, mostly just when I first got it, I did a video about uh, my first thoughts on it. And uh, uh, I did a bit of pressure washing videos with it also, but mostly it's just... Um, I've only shown it a couple times on video, but today we're going to be doing the uh, oil change on the engine to get it ready for uh, um, for my job on Saturday where I have to wash the uh, driveway sidewalk curb at the foreclosure that I was talking about in the last night's video. Um, so this mower or uh, pressure washer has a Honda GC 190. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out here. I need to move my truck first though because I was working from my garage since I have my trailer in here obviously but um I got my pre I'll go go ahead and pull the truck out and uh, get my pressure washer out and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, start doing the oil change and that takes uh, 10w30 motor oil so we'll see what we've got up here is my cabinet right keep my two-stroke oil uh, got a couple of bottles of that Echo Power Blend, which I use in the uh, all my handheld equipment, with the exception of that Craftsman blower. Um, Craftsman blower obviously runs on 40 to 1, so I just use a cheaper oil in that. I bought it Tractor Supply. Um, it's just some cheap stuff. I could probably use this stuff in my... Um, steel and echo equipment and Husqvarna stuff, but I choose not to just because I don't really know why, but um, so that's the oil that I use for that stuff. Um, I guess it's a little tour of my cabinet also, but uh, K100, that's good fuel treatment there. Seafoam, obviously, WD-40, engine cleaner. But we're in here for motor oil, well, that's SAE-30. I could probably use SAE-30 in that pressure washer, but I choose to use 10W30, I don't really know why, but either one will work. Honda will you, uh, Honda says you can use either one of them, but uh, that's, there's about 16 ounces in there. I believe that engine takes about 20 ounces of oil. Um, I think that's at 10W30 also, yeah. So we might need to use, we'll probably end up emptying this bottle here, and then uh, using a little bit out of this Pens oil. Um, so we'll go ahead and take care of that, um, and then go ahead and pull the truck out here first. Okay, so we got the pickup truck backed out, so we have the uh, clear space in front of the garage. Now we're going to go ahead and try and get this pressure washer out. I might have to back out my mom's car a little bit to um, get to it. I'll have to see though. I think I might be able to get it out, but I might have to move some stuff around. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this real quick, and then I'll uh, show you once I get the pressure washer out. Okay, so here's my pressure washer. It's a North Star with a Honda GC190 on it, as you can see there. Um, and it's got a Comet pump on it. It's an oil lubricated pump, direct drive, obviously. This is a decent pressure washer, and honestly, if I had, if I was choosing a pressure washer again, I would get one with more flow. It's a only two and a half gallons a minute, which is not very much. And the rule of thumb is, you want four inches per every gallon of flow out of your pressure washer per minute. And with this one you can do a 10 inch surface cleaner. Now 10 inches is not that big compared to what you can buy like a 20 or 24 inch whisper wash. I have a 12 inch Briggs and Stratton surface cleaner and honestly that's too much for this pressure washer. I bought that before I knew about the rule of thumb about how much flow per 4 inches of surface cleaner. Um, but I learned that from uh, one of the pressure washing groups I'm in, I am in on Facebook. Um, so, anyways, back to what I'm saying about this. So, um, I bought it 
two years ago, I think. Maybe it was a year ago. I can't exactly remember, but it's been a good pressure washer since I bought it. Um, I was replacing a Troy build. -out. If you followed my channel for a while, you probably remember the video I did about the uh, pump blowing up on it. Um, the pressure washers quit producing any flow, and it was, it was a cheap pressure washer to begin with, so I decided to replace it with a nicer one. Because the pump was like $100 to replace, and it was only like a four or $500 pressure washer. Well, probably less than that. Probably three or $400 pressure washer. This one was like $575 or something, but it's been a really good pressure washer so far. And, um... Anyway, so I'm going to do the oil change on it, on the engine that is, not the pump. The pump gets changed every 50 hours, I believe, I think that's what the manual said. But the engine needs the brake and oil change, which I have not done yet, and it says it's 8 hours. And if you can read that out right now, if you can, it says 10.1. So I put the hour meter on it when I bought it, just because I was curious how many hours I'm going to put on this thing um, in the time that I own it. And so far I've only put 10 hours on it since I bought it. And now mind you, I haven't done any big pressure washing jobs with it yet. I've only been doing stuff around the house and uh, like a small driveway and small patio for someone. So it's not like I've done a lot with it. But I'm going to be doing a lot with it this coming weekend. So I want to change the oil in it to make sure it's good. Um, it's getting dark out here. It's about to rain it looks like been raining all day so might have to turn on my get my work light out to see what we're doing here but uh so if there's any wind noise it's picking up out here now so as you can see the oil there it's pretty black so it needs to be changed and like i said earlier in the video we're gonna put 10w30 in it so has a little cutout over there. I might be able to fit my oil drain pan under there. I'm not sure. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to use a form of funnel. I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but form of funnels are actually really handy. Um, I have one right here. Basically, it's just this little rubber thing. And you can form it however you need it. So you can drain like that. You can form it however you need it, but it's a material that can be formed and reformed a lot. Um, you can find them on eBay if you just search form a funnel. Got this one for like five dollars or something, I think. Um, but it works well. It's handy for changing oil in hard to reach places or catching oil from an oil filter. Like I use it on my, I used it on my turf tracer. When I changed the oil on it because the oil filter there. Um, now obviously this doesn't reach all the way out, so I just extended it with a piece of cardboard. Whenever I just hold a piece of cardboard there and drain it out, but it works well. Um, so I'm going to probably have to use this, but I'm just going to set up the camera on this while I'm working and just let it record and I'll just speed up the video. I might do a little bit of narration in there, but um, I'm sure you guys have seen oil changes before, so I don't want to give you a long video of draining the oil out and doing all that stuff so I don't want to bore you guys um, so let's go ahead and get started alright so it started raining on us so we had to move into the edge of the garage here fortunately we have a little bit of an overhang so we can uh, kind of work at the edge of the garage here because my garage is so full but uh, everything's dry so we can keep working I got the work laid on here I don't know if I showed you this before, but it's a uh, LED work light. It's a Husky from Home Depot. Works really well, actually, as you can see. Obviously, it's only a single light, so it's not as bright as some. But it's cooler than a uh, halogen light, obviously. So that's nice. Um, So now what we're going to do is um, go ahead and put the oil drain under here, we got some cardboard down if we spill any. And we'll put the oil drain, there's a little cutout in the frame there. Not sure if you can see it. But it's right there under the gas tank, so that's nice. So you don't make such a big mess. 
Um, so we'll go ahead and drain that out and I'll start the video here again. Alright guys, so we got the oil changed as you saw there. Um, I cut some stuff out just because we weren't doing anything in the video and I wasn't going to just leave like empty video that we weren't doing anything on in the video. Um, but we got it changed, didn't make too much of a mess as you can see here. Uh, I just threw out this paper towel over here. Uh, we had to, we emptied, it, we emptied out that Valvoline bottle and as you saw I opened up that uh, Pennzoil bottle. Um, I tend to get the Pennzoil just because that's what is the main thing in stock at Tractor Supply down the street. And it's easiest just to go to Tractor Supply where it's close by. But uh, we're going to clean up all the tools here, put the pressure washer away, probably just park it over here honestly because we're going to be using it. So, uh, anyways, we'll get all this put away here. Um, and that'll be about the end of the video. I don't have anything else planned for today. I'll do another video tomorrow of uh, preparing for the uh, work on Saturday. Sorry about that. My mom had to talk, uh, asked me something real quick. But anyways, that's about it for now. Um, we'll put everything away, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to be doing some more preparations for uh, working on Saturday. Saturday, we're mainly going to be doing the landscaping stuff. And then I'm probably going to do the pressure washing on Sunday uh, because we'll have everything cleared away from the house so we can work on it. So anyways, guys, that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video today, and I will see you tomorrow.